Welcome to All Hands Update. I'm Petty Officer Ashley Hedrick with your headlines from around the fleet. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta warned that looming massive cuts in the Department of Defense budget are set to be triggered by sequestration next month. Panetta made the comments during a speech to students at Georgetown University where he addressed the issue among other topics and took questions from the audience. We approach another trigger for sequestration, March 1. And the Department of Defense is again facing what I believe and what the service chiefs believe and what the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff believes is the most serious readiness crisis that this country is going to confront in over a decade. Panetta also warned sequestration would do serious damage to the non-defense side of the budget in the form of education, loss of teachers, and child care. It is set to take effect March 1st if Congress and the White House cannot agree on a more targeted cuts in response to the budget deficit. The Navy's fifth littoral combat ship, Milwaukee, will be the first to benefit from new high-power density water jets aimed at preventing rudder and propeller damage experienced on high-speed ships. The product of an Office of Naval Research program, the water jets arrived last month at the Marinette Marine Shipyard in Wisconsin where Milwaukee is under construction. The water jet's new design could increase their lifespan between repairs. The LCS will play a big role in the Navy's plan as a modular adaptable vessel for use against diesel submarines, littoral mines, and attacks by small surface craft. You can read more about these stories at Navy.mil. From All Hands Update, thanks for watching.